to file a dependent travel voucher for a dependent that did not travel with you. Meaning, if you're coming from Keesler Air Force Base and on your orders, your spouse is coming from Tampa, Florida, you two did not travel together. Your spouse will have a different travel voucher than you. Under the travel vouchers tab, you click on the pencil. Uncheck dependents if your dependent did not travel with you and click save. You will then click add voucher. Check dependents only and click add. You will now see two travel voucher tabs on the left-hand side. One will be for the member only, the other one will be for the dependent. We'll click on the first one here. If you scroll down and you don't see anything stating dependents, this is the member's travel voucher. So we'll click on the second one now. Now if you scroll down here, you see dependents. This will be for the dependent travel doctor. The first part you fill out here is how much you want split to the government travel card. In this scenario will select all. Are you entitled to dislocation allowance? Click yes if you are entitled to dislocation allowance. Have your household goods been shipped? In this scenario, we'll say yes. How many POVs were used for travel? This will be for the dependent only. In this scenario, we'll say the dependent drove from Tampa, Florida. Select one. And then the, direct, the date the dependent travel or arrived on station. Click that. And we'll say 10 April and click save. It'll say form was saved up here. We'll then click claim auto claim dependence. Spouse will pop up here. And this will be the address on receipt of orders. So this address here will match your orders. and click save. If you had any advances, you would claim this on your travel voucher, not your spouse's. You may skip over government deductible meals. And if you had any reimbursable expenses, you would claim them here. If your dependents flew, you would claim it here. You'll say that they flew today. You click add new expense, come down to the drop down, commercial airfare, the date they flew, we'll say 10 April, and the amount of costs, and hit add. Scroll back up to the top, click itinerary. And this is going to be for your dependent only. So depending on where they were coming from, you would type in their location, you must match the orders. So in the scenario, it's Tampa, Florida. And click save. We'll then click add new leg. And the departure date from Tampa, Florida. Yeah. With the spouse traveling all in one day. And we click the mode of travel to the airport. We'll say that she was dropped off. The date of arrival to the airport, 10 April. The arrival location.
the reason for stop, awaiting transportation, and click add. You will then add a new leg and add the departure date from the Tampa airport, 10 April. The mode of travel will be commercial plane, date of arrival, 10 April. And since there are no direct flights into Valdosta from Tampa, we'll have to go to Atlanta first. Reason for stop, awaiting transportation, click add. Add new leg, departure date from Atlanta airport, 10 April, mode of travel, commercial plane, date of arrival, 10 April, arrival location, Valdosta airport, Georgia. Reason for stop, awaiting transportation, click add. Add new leg. Quick date of departure from Valdosta Airport in April. Mode of travel to new location. What private auto? Or however the spouse got to the new location. It could also be a commercial auto. Date of arrival, 10 April. Arrival location, duty Air Force Base, Georgia. Reason for stop, mission complete. Add. I must select these. Did you arrange the ticket through CTO? In this scenario, we'll say no. Did you purchase this using your government travel card? We'll say yes if you use the government travel card or not. You've selected a private auto as your mode of travel. Was this your vehicle? We'll say no and click save. That is how you complete a dependent travel voucher as you'll see the green check mark now.